Hello, hello. We are about to go into the richest Marshalls in the world. I actually don't know if it's the richest Marshalls, but it's the one across the street from the richest TJ Maxx in the world. I recently filmed that video where I went to a TJ Maxx where they sold designer stuff for a fraction of the cost. It was rich, rich. But I hear a little birdie told me that the Marshalls is the same way, so we're gonna check it out today and see what we see. Oh, I'm excited. Are we getting some designer or what? I mean... Ah. <laughs> We'll see what they have. I'm always game for a little bit of shopping, but I love Marshalls in general. So I'm excited to see what they got. Let's go shopping and then I'll go home and show you what I got. Smash that subscribe button, baby. Let's go. We found it. Actually, this is Marshalls in Beverly Hills. Just FYI, in case you guys wanted to come here. And we're ready to do some shopping. All right, off the bat, I see the word designer right there. Uh-oh. This might be a part two, honey. First of all, these are absolutely adorable. I don't know this designer. $60 and that's the sell price originally a hundred. Okay. These are really cute. What brand is that? I don't know. I've seen this brand before. I'm gonna put these in the cart just in case. What you got? Baby, they got this stuff locked up, but this is a really nice brand. This shirt's so pretty, but look at the price. A hundred bucks at Marshall's. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're in the bag section. I don't know if you guys remember in TJ Maxx, they had a glass case with the high, high-end designer bags. And here, they don't have that. So this one actually doesn't have the designer bags unless I run into them somewhere else in the store. I don't think they have them, but we're still on the hunt to see what else we find in here. All right, in makeup, just to give you guys a little gander, we have Smashbox by ABH Morphe MAC up in here. And looks like they have a pretty good selection for makeup. I've tried this brand before and I really liked their shampoo and stuff. They have the big bottles here, that's nice. Always in the market for some cute hair clips and these are adorable. We're gonna grab these. I found these adorable white heels here. I think they are a designer brand. Oh my God, they am. Sam Elfman. <gasps> these are designer. Okay, getting these for sure. Okay, this body wash, I love. Oops. We're just gonna put that back. But anyways, I love Soap and Glory, so I was gonna pick up this wash. And they actually have so many nice, expensive brands of skincare. So if you're looking for some skincare, check your dates on the packaging. But look at this little pack of the Laneige. So cute. $24.99, not bad. Guys, I didn't find many designer things, but we're not done yet. We're gonna stop by don't World's Riches Nordstrom Rack, which is right there. And if I don't find anything there, we're gonna go back to the World's Riches TJ Maxx. Marshall's was not the World's Riches in no. Beverly Hills. Just a warning if you come here. That was the World's Floppest. No, they had good stuff, it just wasn't <laughs> a designer. Round two, here we come, Nordstrom Rack. What you got up in here? Let's find out. I know Nordstrom is notorious for designer things, but first off, we got some good stuff. We found the designer bags. We have a Valentino bag here. Here's some pricing for you. Whoa, 50% off. They have a lot of Valentino bags just out in the open. Wow. Wow, this is cute. We found the designer shoes and I actually just found a pair that I am loving, these orange heels. Baby, I'm winning in the shoe department today. Yes, please. We are back 
from Marshalls, but right before we jump into it and go through all the stuff I got right over here, slash Nordstrom Rack, because y'all know we ran into a little drama. I want to give a shout out to Casetify. Thank you to Casetify for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Casetify is a tech accessory brand and they specialize in phone cases, especially phone cases, but they have other things like watch bands, AirPod cases, and other tech accessories. I finally changed my phone case to Casetify, guys, finally. I went with the strawberries and this is an impact case, meaning I get that extra protection. These have Chi Tech 2.0 technology and you can drop these from 9.8 feet and get that protection. I've probably dropped my phone a hundred times. <laughs> She's still good to go, honey. I love the strawberries. Let's cute my outfit today. My little white fox shirt. Anywho, I also love how many different cases they have. This one's cool. I, I carried this one for a really long time. You can put your name on them or if you want like a sleeker one, they're not all impact cases, but they're all very protective either way. But I like how many you can customize and all the different colors and shapes and collabs that they do. I even have a little cactus one. This is one of their newer impact cases. What's cool about this one is that it's made with 65% recycled items and plant-based material. It also says that on the inside. They also have them compatible with 5G and wireless charging. These phone cases are also non-toxic, non-hazardous. We love that. They also have an antimicrobial coating on them, which keeps them germ-free and it kills 99% of bacteria. And in this climate, that's what we want. Here is some of my collection and they have military grade protection. So be sure and check them out. If you guys want 15% off, click my link in the description. That's casetify.com forward slash Laura Lee. Are you guys ready to see what I got? Actually, let's start with the store we wanted to hit the jackpot at, Marshalls. That was a really good Marshalls that I went to, but I honestly didn't have that much designer stuff compared to the TJ Maxx, which did in the Nordstrom rack had a ton of it. Nordstrom's a little more normal carrying designer stuff at a discount. I had to, every time I go there, get my babies one of these because they go through them pretty quickly. I think that one was $9.99. And then I got these, I was trying to be bougie and like find something delish in there and I just did. I found UGG bath cloths. Now, I personally think, or hand towels, but I personally think these were a little expensive, but because they are the name brand UGG, like I said, I was being bougie. So these were $16.99 for a set of two. However, they do feel divine. They are nice and large and they feel extra plush. So I'm sure these will be stained in a week, but hopefully they won't. And I bought two sets. <laughs> Here's my other set. Next up, this is the most expensive thing that I bought. And they actually explained this tag because last time I said, oh, they left the thing on. And this is actually, if you take it off, you can't return it. So it's like one of those situations, which is totally fine. Also, I got these pants. They're so nice. They're actually really heavy. So they're originally a hundred and I actually think this is the most bougie thing I bought. They were $59.99, which is really pricey for a product from Marshalls. But oh my gosh, this felt so luxe. And I went there to buy designers. So so, or see what deals I could get in designer. So at least I found a pair of designer pants. I will say they did have a lot of clothing racks with designer stuff, but nothing like the TJ Maxx where it was like Gucci and like really high-end brands, but these were super nice. As far as the beauty section, I picked up the Soap and Glory Fruit Force. This is a bath wash and this one was only like $4, $4.99. Oh my gosh, it smells like grapefruit. It smells really good. Next, I picked up this Clinique wash. I really like Clinique skincare. This one was $14.99, so quite a discount there. It says originally $22, and this is the Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. I really like a thick, moussey foaming cleanser, so I thought I would give this a try. By the way, I'm filming this in here. I normally film my hauls, like sitting down on the floor with my vlog camera, but my bathroom's being renovated right now, and the noises are not good for camera quality, but if I shut off in my studio here. Can't hear as much. Okay, I got this because I wanted to try the thing out where they spurt the freckles on the nose. They said you have to use this one, but I feel like they said don't shake it, which I just shook it a little, but let's just see. So when you lightly tap it, so let's pretend this is my face. <gasps> Uh, oh, no ma'am, I almost got played. Looks like I will be using this for my roots, my gray hair. And this is in the shade medium brown. Probably should've got dark brown, but that actually looks, that looks pretty close. 
there's more. Next, I got this kit of the Laneige sleep mask, lip mask. These are so nice. And I got all these for 24, which they originally were 41 bucks. I thought that's awesome. Love those. I got these adorable, adorable, adorable hair clips. Oh, I gotta cut them open, but these are so cute. And I got the whole pack for $7.99 and these do feel really nice. Honey, what is next? Okay, I got the Shiseido exfoliator. I like Shiseido skincare. So I found this and I don't know, their stuff is really nice. So after cleansing, you massage it on your damping skin. I'm all about an exfoliation. $14.99, originally 34 bucks. So, you know, deals, deals, deals. <gasps> Not new shoes. I think these are so cute. These are pretty basic, I'm gonna say. Like, this is nothing to call home about, but they're cute, you know? These were $49.99, a little pricey, but they're Sam Edmonton. I'm saying the last name wrong. Edelman, Edelman, Sam Edelman? Sa Sam Edelman, which is a super nice brand. I wanted just a simple pair of white heels, and I thought, well, there they are. I must get them. So that's a pretty nice designer. Oh, they were 100 a gallon for 50, so I thought that was for a nice pair of leather heels, 50 bucks not bad okay and then i got these like towel terry cloth towel scrunchies and you're probably like why did you get this girl because they look like for a baby they were on clearance for 450 and i got them because i saw a girl on tiktok uses these and she puts them around her wrist while she washes her face so whenever the water runs down it stops at the scrunchie and the towel material absorbs it so baby when i saw these i was like oh it's my chance to try it so i'm gonna try this out next time i wash my face i was gonna remember to take these to my bathroom and that's what i got from marshall so clearly nothing to design besides really the pants and the shoes which technically are designer brands but then we went to Nordstrom Rack. The first thing I got is one of my favorite pieces because I was searching online. I don't want to get makeup on it. I was searching online for one of these vest tops and I couldn't find like the perfect one. I was like looking for the one that looked just like this and when I saw it in the store I was like that is it. Luckily, they had one more small left and I grabbed it up and this one was um, $27.97. So it's not like dirt cheap or anything like that, but it is nice. 27 bucks. These are my Amazon sunglasses that accidentally got left in the bag. These are cute. I can leave these. Now on to expensive business. I did not get anything from Burberry. The lady couldn't find the case of the sunglasses and I was just straight up gonna say, stop looking. I don't use sunglass cases. I lose them or they disappear. I don't need them. I just throw my sunglasses down my purse. Not a good habit, but it's the life I live. So I was like, don't look for a case. And she was like, well, just take this one. I was like, fine, but I'm gonna lose it. Oh my God, where are the sunglasses? I already lost the sunglasses and now I only have the case. Oh my God. Let me see if Ty knows. I'll report back. Ty found these, luckily, but they're cute. They're like a moment. These are Tides, the brand T-O-D-S, Tides, and they were $100, $100. They're cute, my ears are crooked. Hold on, let me fix that. <gasps> you guys, it hurts so bad. I got my ears pierced, like an extra piercing right here. Do you see this? Like two, actually. And I'm in so much pain, I hate it. Like. The pain is not worth having the piercing. So, so can someone please tell me the best way? Like, should I take it out? It's only been in there for three days. It looks cute AF, but like, I'm like, ouch. I forgot how bad piercings are. I haven't had a piercing in a really long time. And I'm like, oh my God, what do people go through for these little studs? I can't sleep on this side. I'm like over it. It's been three days. It's been three days and I'm like, Someone comment and tell me do's and don'ts. Like what mistakes do people make that I'm probably making and like what do I need to do here? <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, take it out, idiot, but I don't know. There's more. This blanket, so it's a, it was like 20 bucks, super good deal. And it's the softest plushy blanket ever and 24. And it was on sale from 40 to 24. That's not bad. That's like home good prices, right? So soft and plushy, but it's not huge. It's big, but not huge. And I was like, if I can get this on an airplane, this will be my travel blanket. I don't know if I can fit it in with all my stuff, but baby, I'm a truck. Okay, next, Honest Beauty. I cannot find my common and go face mist. So I bought a new one. It's been gone for months. $9.96, not bad, right? Nine bucks, so. Mmm, gosh. 
It's so soft and misty, I love that. Then I got a designer bag, so if you're with me still, thank you for watching. We'll be diving into that next. But I got the Lip Injections Max, Maximum Plump. And this is not something I'm looking forward to trying, but I just was like intrigued because I haven't tried this in forever. I remember Aaron when this was like popping on the TikTok, he used to wear it every day, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna try a little bit. I'm scared. I'll report back. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cotton candy. If this burns my lips, I'm gonna scream. I didn't put on a lot. All right, designer bag, and I got some nice shoes, so hang tight. Okay, so this is the duster bag. It says Versace. And this is the gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I hope to God she put the. <gasps> she let the. F oh no! She let the strap off. Oh my God! It comes with a strap that makes it a crossbody. And the only reason I wanted this bag is because it was a crossbody. I said if it doesn't have a strap in it, I'm not gonna get it because I won't carry a clutch like this. And I pulled the strap out and I said, okay, it has a strap, I'll get it. And then the girl took them both up to the counter when they handed it to me to purchase. I thought they put the strap back in it and I should have checked. They did not put it back together. And now I doubt if I take it back up there, they're gonna be like, uh, girl, we don't know what's talking about. I'm gonna cry. <gasps> no, guys, this was a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars and it doesn't even have the strap. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Someone tell me what to do right now. I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> I feel like I just wasted a thousand dollars. And I feel like if I return it, what if they're like, it doesn't have a strap? Oh my God. Maybe I'll call them. Give them a little ring and be like, you have a white strap. We're gonna deep dive or deep dive into that. I was really excited to show you guys this until I just had a heart attack, realizing I'm missing the strap. It was originally 1125 and I got it for 999. But this may be going back to the store if I don't get the strap or I'm gonna have to figure out a situation because I am devastated. <gasps> okay, there's my bell. That was it. Anyways, on to shoes. So then I got these shoes. So cute, orange shoes. They were $100, so they were not cheap. I am not 100% sure of this brand, but they had a lot of cute shoes. BSS, look how cute these are for summertime. I already know where I'm wearing these, so. Must have, love them, obsessed, very my style. Also, the heel on them is pretty low, so these are gonna be pretty comfortable in my book of comfortable shoes. And then lastly, I got this Evian facial spray. My lips are burning, by the way. And it's the mineral water. And I think these are always so silly, but I'm like, mmm. Like if you had this on your purse on a hot summer day, I would be all right. Like I would survive the hot day if I missed my body with this. I feel like this is something I wanna try out. I feel like it was an impulse purchase, to be honest. That's what this is, so. And that's all I got. We'll follow up on what's gonna happen with that Versace bag. I'm a little devastated. You know, you spent a thousand dollars on something, you should probably check and make sure they put the strap in it. Oh, I did it, so here we are. I'm a little devastated at myself, but I think I'm gonna call them. Anyways, love you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them out and use the URL casetify.com forward slash Laura Lee to get 15% off your Casetify phone cases. I'll also have that linked in the description box at the very top for you to check out. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.